Okay, so in this mini lecture, we're going to be looking at atoms and isotopes and how to use information that's given to us from the periodic table for counting the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in these atomic species. So first, there's a couple important things you should know about. And the first one is that atoms of elements differ in the number of protons in the nucleus. A second point is that an isotope is an atom or atoms of, so isotopes plural, are atoms of a given element with different masses. Okay, so what does this mean or look like? Well, let's just say that we have carbon-12. Carbon is the sixth element here. The, these two numbers are given to us from the periodic table. Uh, this bottom number is the subscript, and that refers to the atomic number. And carbon is the sixth element, so its number is six. And the atomic number also equals the number of protons in an atom. This top number is also in the periodic table. You can find that, the superscript, how it's written here. Uh, but this is the atomic mass. And the atomic mass tells you the sum of the number of the protons and the number of neutrons. Okay, so you might be um, seeing how we might be using these two numbers to find the number of protons and neutrons. But what does this mean in terms of uh, these two points that I made earlier? Well, carbon is the sixth element and it has six protons. And based on this definition, any atom that is found to have six protons must be some form of carbon, okay? And also, um, an isotope is our atoms of a given element with a different mass. And so this is true. This number must stay the same for carbon, but since this number on top corresponds to atomic mass, there are isotopes of carbon. There's a carbon-13. The number of protons stays the same. There's also an isotope carbon-14. And so the isotopes just have different atomic weights. Uh, these isotopes, these atoms, are referred to as nuclides. Okay, so there's some definitions. So what, how can we use these numbers just to sum it up? Well, if you wanted to find the number of protons, then that can be found just by looking at the atomic number. The number of electrons, well, atoms are neutral, and because protons have a charge of plus one, and electrons are minus one, they must cancel out that charge, and so that's just going to be the number of protons. And finally, the number of neutrons is equal to the atomic mass minus the number of protons. Okay, so let's look at this in some practice. Here's niobium-93. This is the atomic mass. We need the atomic number, which, when you look at the periodic table, is 41. So we must have 41 protons. This is neutral, so that also would be 41 electrons. And neutrons would be 93 minus 41, which is 52. And that's it for niobium. What about barium? So barium, here we have 2 plus. Let's look up the information for atomic or elemental barium, which is 137 and 56. So the number of protons must be 56. The number of electrons will not be 56. There are two missing, so it must be 54. And the number of neutrons is 137 minus 56, which is 82, and you're done.